is that it's a non cbsc maths topic it is a commerce topic yes or no now what is it hota kya hai bhai kya karte hain okay no big rocket science and all clear easy scene very very easy scene this word na co relation a relation is actually about the variability okay what happens so suppose for a particular scene there are two variables okay whether they are increasing with each other okay badal or decreasing with each other one is increasing one is decreasing Clear? This kind of relation, first of all, the volume. मेरे volume ते के हो गया. है बेटा full है वैसे ज़्यादा ही होगा इससे ज़्यादा तो नहीं कर सकते. मैं खुद तेज बोलने लगता हूँ ये ज़्यादा अच्छा. अभी ठीक है? बादल है ना ये ज्यादा सही है मैं ही कुछ चिल्लाने लगता हूँ चिंगाड़ने लगता हूँ वोट वोट हु क्रिएट्स द साउंड ऑफ चिंगाड़ना विच एनिमल डू द चिंगाड़ना एलिफेंट राइट गुड 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 क्या तो तुम लोग कब निकल रहे हो वेन आई गाइस स्टार्टिंग फोर्थ को क्यों निकल रहे हो बे Want to fit more books into your life? With Audible, you can listen to books. अच्छा, नहीं मैं तो I was like अंशु कि एक तारीख को निकलोगे तो and all. अंशु मैंने कल तेरे को doubt भेज दिया था, मिल गया तेरे को समझ में आया? अरे यार कैसी बात कर रहे हो यार? तुमने पूछा था मुझसे probability of दो वो एक सेट दिया था एक दो तीन चार पांच छह सात आठ नौ दस टाइप का उसमें से था कि एक नंबर जो कि दो प्राइम का मल्टीपल हो कहो हाँ फिर मैंने रिप्लाई भी किया यार चेक करो अपना व्हाट्सएप हम्म बढ़िया तो क्या बात कर रहे थे अपन रिलेशन बिटवीन टू वेरियबल्स राइट और नॉट तो अगर एक के बढ़ने से दूसरा बढ़ता है और एक के घटने से दूसरा घटता है तो इन दोनों ही प्रकार के रिलेशन को हम डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शनैलिटी या पॉजिटिव रिलेशन कोफिशियंट से नापते हैं ओके होप्स सॉरी सो इफ बाई इंक्रीजिंग इफ एफ If one increases, so do other. Or if one decreases, so do other. In these scenarios, the relation coefficient is positive in nature. Whereas, if the increase in one identifies the decrease in another, or the vice versa, then these are counted as negative coefficients. Got it? Good. 
there are actually three calculatable words first calculatable word word is covariance okay second calculatable word is correlation coefficient okay third covariable is like okay calculatable uh, term is line of a regression that is it nothing else okay now what is covariance covariance like okay what it signifies so understand that it's not a very big deal it is always measured between two variables about their relation okay so sure. there is a mathematical formula by now understanding the statistics you know what is mean you know what is median you know what is mod you know what is deviation yes or no so sure. so you know the words okay the important words the required words clear yeah fine so covariance also comes from such operations okay covariance also comes from such operations only clear no rocket science for covariance clear okay now what happens what happens what happens what happens all these questions when it comes to the examination okay will be 3 to 4 at max like the other time there were two okay both from regression the other time there were three one from correlation and two from regression so don't be worried about that that much but yes it is good because it is easy so knowing that is helpful clear yeah? nothing else knowing that is helpful you at time can get a very bachcha question which you can just click by simple operations clear yeah? okay now the formula of covariance okay is simple very simple and very very simple it is covariance of x comma y given by 1 upon total number of observations sum of product of deviations deviation of x into deviation of y got it how understand अभी मैंने लिखा कि एक वेरिएबल x है और एक वेरिएबल y है ठीक है थोड़ा गैप देके लिख रहा हूं ध्यान से देखना यह है टू फोर टेन क्लियर यह है वन टू सिक्स चलेगा नाउ इफ आई लास्ट यू कैलकुलेट द कोवेरियंस ऑफ x एंड y तो यू विल बी लाइक ठीक है first of all let's calculate what is this deviation from this deviation is from mean is from what mean clear so you will calculate what is mean mean is 6 16 16 बटे 3 right or not mean is 9 by 3 3 yes or no deviation from mean will be माइनस टेन बाय थ्री राइट माइनस फोर बाय थ्री राइट फोर्टीन बाय थ्री डेविएशन फ्रॉम मीन इज माइनस टू माइनस वन थ्री एनी डाउट एनी डाउट एनी डाउट नो डाउट what are we calculating what are we calculating what are we calculating product of no 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 it it has to be the usual sign 
no mod of deviation okay it has to be the usual sign good now understand why beta just in order to if you you should not forget because beta our outcome can be both positive and negative positive means direct types of proportionality negative means reciprocal type of proportionality if you will take mod all will come as positive only na right so that's why mod should not be taken very good very good very good very good so what we will do now product of deviations what is the product of deviations first one is sola second one is 20 by 3 hey what have i done why have i multiplied these two sorry <laughs> sorry 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 <laughs> these are these are the terms 1 2 and 3 so 20 by 3 4 by 3 and 42 by 3 yes or no so which can also be stated as 14 very good <laughs> which can also be stated as 14 like yesterday's case you told me na ki sir can not we take 1 by 2 common from whole and then <laughs> add and divide in some probability question right yeah right yeah anyway my step was only correct ha huh? don't false blame if i will have add them this is helping me out na no? divided by 3 numerator is yes or no 46 plus 20 is 66 this is this part okay 1 by 3 so the total answer is coming out to be 66 by 9 got it 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 this is covariance this is what this is what covariance now how to calculate correlation coefficient out of it how to calculate correlation coefficient out of it okay so understand i am erasing this list correlation coefficient is ironically denoted by regression coefficient like r sorry <laughs> okay i don't know why they do that why to confuse they could have used a c right C C or something uh, R. <laughs> Why? So so R is given by covariance by covariance by covariance by product of standard deviations of individually x and y. So now you know mathematically covariance is. 1 by n into summation of deviation of x into deviation of y yes or no now when you look at this it is a square root of variance that is a sigma of deviation ka square by n into sigma of deviation ka square by n this is deviation of x just to discriminate and this is deviation of y yes or no look at the beauty of the world these two ends will get cancelled say yes good very good so sure. so the formula is here clear easy so just tell me what will be the 
correlation coefficient i am an idiot correlation coefficient of the given data तो यू विल गो लाइक सर हमको समेशन ऑफ डेविएशन का स्क्वायर करना पड़ेगा ये सुनो सर न्यूमरेटर इज ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड इट इज 66 बाय 3 ओके इफ यू वांट यू कैन कीप 9 एज वेल नॉट टू कंफ्यूज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ समेशन ऑफ डेविएशन का स्क्वायर ओके सो नाउ व्हाट इज डेविएशन दीज थ्री वर डेविएशन देयर स्क्वायर इज 100 बाय 9, 16 बाय 9 एंड 196 बाय 9. देयर स्क्वायर इज 419. क्लियर so their sum is the sum of the deviations of x square of the deviations of x is 100 plus 100 200 200 and uh, uh, 312 312 by 9 okay so there summation d square fine by 3 as well which 3 this n similarly 4 aur ek 5 aur 14 by 3 as well clear so the answer look here look here look here look here look here look here it is 312 by 9 into 3 square root 14 by 3 what will come outside is 3 and 3 9 will cancel got it so we are getting an answer which is equal to 66 by e square root of 312 into 14 लेट मी कैलकुलेट भैया ये मैं तो नहीं करने वाला हूं तुम लोग का काम करने का मन है तो कर लो थ्री वन टू इंटू फोर्टीन ब्रैकेट क्लोज आय हाय जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन एट ये सुनो हाँ ऑलमोस्ट यस एक्सैक्टली जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन एट इज कमिंग गुड नाउ व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय दैट ओके द बेस्ट टेस्ट ऑफ कोरिलेशन कोफिशियंट इज इट शुड लाई बिटवीन नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव वन क्लियर शो clear it is 0.99 it is a very good value clear 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 good easy only if you will remember the formula you will easily get that clear 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 good then comes the last agenda the last agenda of the situation is line of regression which one line of regression before taking a dip into it beta a quick view of the formula we have as of now calculated covariance of two variables what was that equal to without cheating can you tell me total number of observations summation of deviations in x into deviations in y yes or no then came 
correlation coefficient of x and y. It is actually what to remember is covariance divided by standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y. Yes or no? Good. Where standard deviation of x is is square root of summation of deviation sky square divided by n. Don't forget that. Suppose you forgot even what is sigma x, then you are dead. <laughs> what will you do of the formula? <laughs> right? Don't forget what is standard deviation. Okay. Good. Proceed. Then comes line. So there are two types of lines. Okay. The regression line of y on x, the regression line of x on y. y on x is given like this. x on y is given like this. Where bar indicates mean. Yes or no? Okay, what is written y, y minus y1 is equals to m into x minus x1 hota hai na? So what is the m in different cases? So in this case m is coefficient of yes or no? Correlation or regression? <laughs> coefficient of correlation multiplied by y by x, y on x. Okay, coefficient of correlation multiplied by x on y. Got it? Got it? Very simple scenario. Understand that you might like it. Pehli baat to ye hai ki ye nahi batao ki regression coefficient kya hota hai. Kuch nahi hota hai sir. Ye jo likha hai wo regression coefficient hai. Ye jo likha hai ye bhi regression coefficient hi hai. Okay. These are the regression coefficients. Clear? Yes or no? Now. Very simple rules will follow. What is the angle between two regulation lines? So you know that you know that by the formula and knowledge of two dimensional geometry m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 m2 will be effective. Yes or no? What is the value of m1? If this is m1, what is the value of m1? This is line 1. What is the value of m1? This is the value of m1. Yes or no? Very good. If this is line 2, what is the value of m2? So there is a problem. That's it. This is y minus y1 is equal to reciprocal. Yes or no? So m2 is equal to sigma y by sigma x into 1 by r m1 is equals to r into sigma y by sigma x got it sure so be careful with that line clear 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 clear, clear. good So let's do some question. Exam chin to question. Okay.
ओके फॉर टेन ऑब्जर्वेशन फॉर टेन ऑब्जर्वेशन बिटवीन वेरिएबल एक्स एंड वेरिएबल वाई इट इज ऑब्जर्व दैट समेशन ऑफ एक्स इज वन थर्टी समेशन ऑफ वाई इज टू ट्वेंटी समेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज टू टू एट एट एंड समेशन ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर इज वन फाइव फाइव सिक्स जीरो फाइव फाइव जीरो सिक्स एंड समेशन ऑफ एक्स इंटू वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री फोर सिक्स सेवन ये मैं कभी यूज करूंगा नहीं करूंगा मेरे को लगता है क्या पूछ रहा है वॉट इज द लाइन ऑफ रिग्रेशन ऑफ वाई ऑन एक्स वॉट इज द लाइन ऑफ रिग्रेशन ऑफ वाई ऑन एक्स वॉट विल बी द स्ट्रक्चर y माइनस वाई बार इज इक्वल्स टू आर सिग्मा x अपॉन वाई सिग्मा वाई अपॉन सिग्मा x इंटू एक्स माइनस एक्स बार ये सुनो विल यू कैलकुलेट नो यू विल नॉट रिलैक्स ध्यान से सुनो लिसन व्हाई इट इज गेटिंग डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू एंड व्हाई यू आर नॉट टेकिंग इट सीरियसली मतलब व्हाई यू आर काइंड ऑफ अफेयर अबाउट को रिलेशन रिग्रेशन इज बिकॉज यू हैव इट अप्रोच इट विथ नॉर्मल मैथमेटिक्स अप्रोच इट विथ नॉर्मल मैथमेटिक्स कैन यू वेरी इजिली कैलकुलेट वॉट इज एक्स बार क्विकली tell me na why are you telling yes tell me the answer very good for very obvious reason y bar is equals to 22 right good that means this line of regression should satisfy 13 comma 22 say yes because as per our knowledge of straight lines y minus y1 is equals to m into x1 x minus x1 passes from x1 comma y1 yes or no yeah so see there are four options my dear friend first option is y is equals to 0.91 x minus 7.02 Second option is y is equals to 1.02x plus 8.74. Third option is y is equals to 1.02x minus 7.02. Yes or no? 8.74. Okay. And another is y is equals to 0.91x plus 8.74. अभी दिमाग लगाओ, दिमाग. What is x? Thirteen. Yes or no? Yeah, रखो. This is almost thirteen. Thirteen minus seven is not going to be twenty-two. This should not be. This is almost thirteen plus eight is twenty-one. This is a possible scenario. Thirteen minus seven impossible scenario. Thirteen plus eight possible scenario. The answer will be either of the two. Got it? कुछ दिमाग लगाओ थोड़ा सा formula लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है If you'll put thirteen, say for example here, thirteen twos are twenty six. Okay, thirteen ones are thirteen. Okay, लो answer आ गया, खत्म हो गया. Eight point seven four. This is one. No bias. कैसा लग रहा है? Easy. Why am I making it when I have an actual one? Clear? Yeah. No rocket science. Easy, easy, easy. क्लियर
क्वेश्चन नंबर सी देर इज अ डेटा गिवे डेटा इज देर इज एक्स एंड विथ सम गैप आई एम राइटिंग देर इज वाई फाइव सेवन एट फोर सिक्स फाइव सेवन एट फोर सिक्स टू फोर थ्री टू फोर टू फोर थ्री टू फोर द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द रिग्रेशन इक्वेशन ऑफ वाई ऑन एक्स फटाफट आई विल नॉट वेट बारह बीस दस तीस बटे एक दो तीन चार पांच छ चार तीन सात चार ग्यारह चार पंद्रह बटे पांच तीन ऑप्शन आर वाई इक्वल टू फोर प्लस नाइन एक्स वाई इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एक्स वाई इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फोर एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस फाइव एक्स करो खत्म कोई रॉकेट साइंस है इजी कुछ नहीं करना मीन निकालो रख के देखो ओके okay? एक्स ओके गॉट एट रिपीट 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 ज्ञान है शॉर्ट है बेटा या ठीक है अनेश surely there is a formal method what is the formal method telling us the formal method is telling us ki bhaiya when you have to calculate y on x you go for y minus y bar is equals to r into sigma y by sigma x into x minus x bar surely it's okay but it is not a theoretical paper i am not going to get five marks or lesser marks uh, with with the number of steps i do right or not so what we are doing is we are doing it in reverse clear easy good there is a doubt there is a doubt sent by someone from you if alpha plus beta yeah yeah, yeah exactly get yeah. okay because that's easier to calculate anything else okay so it is given that alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to 180 degree yeah okay then tan beta tan gamma okay is equal to 18 tan alpha tan gamma is equals to 2 so tan square gamma equal to bahut saral hai also please
Hmm. नहीं देर आर प्रॉपर्टीज स्पेशली प्रॉपर्टीज असोसिएटेड विथ ओके चलो फाइन 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 नो वन आंसरिंग एवरीवन इज डेड कैन यू गाइज राइट alpha equal to 180 minus gamma plus beta or other things no problem no problem ek baat yaad rakho क्या बात याद रखोगे कि वेन अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस गामा इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री देन टेन ऑफ अल्फा प्लस टेन ऑफ बीटा प्लस टेन ऑफ गामा अपॉन टेन ऑफ अल्फा इंटू टेन ऑफ बीटा इंटू टेन ऑफ गामा इक्वल टू वन ओके देन 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 अब तो सॉल्व हो जाएगा इट्स अ आउटपुट इट्स अ सिंप्लीफिकेशन आउटपुट ओके so you can treat it as an identity all identities are simplified outputs hmm sir is the option is as a constant or some uh, a number all all numbers all numbers all numbers only no main dekh leta hu ek baar yeah at least 3 are visible so they are 15 16 and 90 yes beta if a plus b plus c equal to 180 then this result is applicable else not okay हम्म एनी वन नो वन चलो शुड आई सॉल्व फुल आई डू दैट देन बेटर टाइम बच जाएगा गुड 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 ग
you multiply these two, what you get? Okay. You get tan of alpha into tan of beta into tan of gamma chi square equal to 36. Yes or no? Out of that, you can take tan of gamma out and the other three can be written as tan of alpha plus tan of beta plus tan of gamma. Yes or no? So, if you'll expand this beta, okay, I don't want to like invest a lot of time. If you'll expand this, you will also get that if you'll expand it beta, if you will expand it, if you will expand it, if you will expand it, okay. So, you will get simple, 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 simple. मैंने कुछ एक गड़बड़ लिखा है क्या? ये एक tan alpha, tan gamma is repeated twice. Sorry. Okay. This is what? Thirty six, right? Clear? Are you getting 10 gamma square? Quickly. See beta. This was 10 alpha into 10 beta into 10 gamma into 10 gamma. So I kept 10 gamma aside and the 3 got multiplied. And by this relation, we know that the multiplication of 3 is the sum of 3. Yes or no? Clear, yeah, Dharni? Right? Good. Now see, as you send it inside, beta, as you send it inside, you get tan gamma into tan alpha 2 plus tan gamma into tan beta 18 plus tan gamma square equal to 36 yes or no so tan gamma square equal to 16 means tan gamma is plus or minus 4 tan alpha chamka Clear? First point, first point, first point, better. First point is this is given this is given this is given and this is asked and we are like clear we are like here when this is known then this property is valid okay so निकाल लो ओ मयूर कितना दिया है 36 बेटा बिकॉज वी मल्टीप्लाइड इट ना व्हेन वी मल्टीप्लाइड दीस टू वी गॉट दिस 36 
फसवैत है दुख की बात ओके गाइस गॉड इट कुछ नहीं बेटा देख यहां से दो और अठारह विल गो दैट साइड इट इज ट्वेंटी थर्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी इज टेन गामा स्क्वायर Which is coming out to be sixteen implies that tan gamma is four. Okay, so tan alpha is one by two, positive or negative. So tan alpha square is one by four. Clear? शॉप चलो वेरी गुड गाइस गॉट इट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड चलो टेक केयर गाइस बाय 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 बाय